So today may be the first video of a series that I may be considering of asking some extremely hypothetical questions, theoretical questions. Today's question is going to be, do demons keep empaths separate? separated from each other. And by demons, I mean dark spirits, dark entities, um, malevolent beings. I do not mean pagan gods such as Isis, Zeus, Horus, or any of the other pagan pantheon, Shiva, or any of them. I'm talking about demons. I'm talking about energy vampires. I'm talking about uh, uh, disincarnate beings that would have to feed on human soul energy. When I say demons, that's what I mean. And I think most people have that understanding. Do demons keep empaths separated? Are narcissists strategically placed in your life to intercept you and make your life miserable and keep empaths separated from each other so that they can't be in relationships with each other, so that they can't grow and function together? Think back over your own life. Has narcissists or have narcissists been strategically placed in your life? Or would that be overstating the situation too much? I've made a video. In fact, I've made a couple videos now about how you have a mass of normal people, supposedly, and then the vampires prey upon the empaths in this spiritual warfare. But think about it. And it's just a hypothetical question for today. Has there been narcissists strategically placed in your life to intercept you? And is this interception in relationship especially designed to keep empaths apart from each other so that they can't lend each other soul energy but are separated and their soul is depleted by energy vampires. Far out, but a very interesting question.